Hello, my people, don't go anywhere. You know why? Because in this video, you will watch and hear the exact words of the Agadaba of Igbima Kingdom, His Royal Majesty, Ambassador Meshach Esiotea Ubapiri, after receiving the staff of office from the Delta State government. Don't wait to be told. Watch this video. Uh, I'm indeed very grateful to Almighty God for making it possible for the government to hand over staff of office to me. It is a great joy indeed. It is the Lord's doing. So we want to appreciate God Almighty. And we also want to thank the Delta State government, particularly the governor, Senator Dr. Ato Ifan Yokoa, for deeming fit to recognize me and give me the staff of office. So I'm so happy. I'm so delighted. I'm happy for the kingdom. I'm happy for the Burma people. But thank God this is what we are praying for. We want the Igbema people to be united. And today, we have seen the unity in Igbema. So we are happy. You can even see the happiness and the smile in the face of the people. So we are indeed very grateful. Since the government have recognized you by giving you the staff of office, what is your call to the government as a continuation of the relationship between you and the government as the leader, the Agadaba of Igbema Kingdom? Ordinarily, as a leader, as a royal father, ours is to work with the government to see that the kingdom is developed. We cannot do it ourselves alone. The government is there to develop the kingdom. Uh, if we don't work with the government, they won't develop it. So we want to work with the government, the government of Delta State, even the government of Edo State, so that we can develop our communities, develop the entire kingdom. We want them to succeed. We will assist them. We will work with them. We will help them in terms of maintaining peace. As a traditional ruler, we have a role to play so that the, there will be peace in the kingdom. There will be a, a good relationship between the kingdom and the government. Even in terms of election, we will tell our people to, to work credibly, vote for who is credible, those who can honor us, those who can develop the kingdom, those who are credible of uh, uh, doing infrastructure in our communities. So we'll work with the government to achieve peace so that the community will be developed. Your Royal Majesty, in time past we've discovered that uh, there has been some form of uh, disunity among members of this uh, Igbema Kingdom. Now, as the new Agadaba of Igbema Kingdom, the Binipere IV, how would you manage or try to, to uh, unite this kingdom? Sometimes this unity is normal in any society. There must be disunity. There must be some elements who are against the original thing or the truth. Now that I've been elected by the people, appointed by the government, I have all it takes as a traditional ruler, as a father, to bring all of them together. It's my duty to do that. Uh, even in the local government, you will see an opposition. In the state government, in an election, you will see an opposition. That is it everywhere. So it's a normal thing. It's the ability to manage it. That is just the whole thing. We will manage it. They are all our children. You have ten, five children. You see the one that are stubborn, the one that are good. So we will talk to them. We will call them to order to make sure the community is, uh, is in order. That is our role. We will do it as a father. Your advice to the entire kingdom as a father? My advice is to them is... Uh, to love one another. We need love. If you love your brother, you will not hate him. If you love your brother, you will not harm him. You will not even plan to harm him. So my advice is to them is to love one another so that we will be united. Even the Bible says how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. So unity is very important. So my advice is for them to unite. Let us forget about the past, forget about what uh, your, your, your brother or your friend offends you. Even the tongue and the, the teeth, sometimes they have some misunderstanding, but they still manage to live together. So I want us to live together in harmony as brothers and sisters. 
I think that is my advice to them. Live in peace. I also want the, 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 the youth, or rather advise them, to, to, to be very peaceful and to be calm, to withdraw themselves from every evil arm, to every criminal activities. I don't want it. And that is not in my nature. I'm a man of peace. I'm a, I'm a peace ambassador. So I want peace. I will want everybody to follow my footsteps. I want transparency. I don't want anybody who is doing things that are against the law. Because if you do, I will not come for your rescue. But paraventure, if anybody is caught for an offense he did not commit, he will see me behind him. He will see me day or night as a father to make sure I rescue you from the trouble. But my advice is to make sure you live peacefully so that you give me room to protect you. That is my advice. Okay, a word for the people that grace the occasion, the state government, uh, just a, a, a grateful thanks or whatever. Uh, I thank the governor, as I said before, His Excellency Senator Dr. Ato Efan Yokoa. And even the deputy governor came to uh, represent him, uh, Barrister Kingsley Brutu Otuaru, the deputy governor. He saw this our son, the son of the soil, he's an Ijo man. We are proud to have him as an Ijo son. So uh, I appreciate them. I appreciate even the, the, the Council of Chiefs, the sons and daughters of Egbema within and outside for their cooperation for their standfast for their love for their demonstration in short everything i want to appreciate them i thank all of them for their cooperation their unity their strength those who rally around me to make sure that i sit on this throne comfortably today with their effort i am here i must make sure i protect their interests I must make sure I work for the development of the community. I will work with the state government. I will work with the security agencies to make sure there is peace in the Gbema Kingdom. I think that is my advice to them, and that is my blessing. And I pray that this kingdom will experience tremendous development in, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of every other thing. We want the government, even those, in, those that are politicians, I will want to advise them to work with a reasonable person, they know that can develop this uh, 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 kingdom. So that is when we'll be able to achieve our aims. So I will do all that. Thank you. Uh, my name is Honorable Joe Boxen. I am the Wudutuawe of Egbema Kingdom. Next in status to the Agadagwa of this particular kingdom. What we have experienced today is something that uh, is so interesting. And because Egbema is one of the ancient kingdoms and that need to have a piloting uh, head, which is the, the Agadaba. And it's, you know, sometimes uh, once good thing wants to happen, it must go through some process of uh, um, argument rather but because the Egbema people as a people came together make a decision to see that the Agadaba takes its seeds and through the the, the the staff of office from the government of Delta State which was done and that made us to be very very happy you can see all the chiefs youths both ladies and girls elders jubilating because what we have seen today is a thing that we've been long expecting and today it has come true and our Gadagba is right now re had received the staff of office from the government of Delta State that is exactly what has happened now I'm Aishif Cyrus Ayolopele I am the secretary of Igbemo Traditional Council and also the secretary of the Chiefs Council the event today is a great one. Today, the Delta State have recognized, the Executive Council approved on Monday last week that he should be given certificate as the paramount ruler of the Igbe Moijon people. The Deputy Governor, in the order of the Governor, has confirmed that today at Ogbudubudu. And Ajakrama is the traditional headquarters of Igbema Kingdom, though in a dual state, but actually the gadget capsule that Adakrama is also in Delta State 
but politically administered by Edo State. But that does not divide us. We are still one entity. Igbema is a singular and one kingdom. Today, the gathering you have seen in the moon, uh, the joyous moon in the mind and in the body of everybody, showing that the government has really indicated their interest and shown and given him certificate that he is the king, recognized by the government and even by the people. Traditionally, he has been installed. That is why we are celebrating. And this is a very, very important occasion because we can tell the whole world and anywhere it goes, he is fully recognized by the government. That is why we are so happy. We are so happy. Traditionally, it's recognized. Politically, it's recognized. In the government circle, it's recognized as the paramount ruler of the Egbema Ijon people. We are so grateful. We are so grateful. And my advice to the world, general public, those who contested with him who are still bragging that uh, they are uh, Agadagba elect, there is no Agadagba elect in Egbema kingdom again. We only have the Agadagba in council, surrounded by the chiefs and the priests. All attest to this fact that he is the Agadagba and all the necessary functions have been done. All the rights have been done. Thank you all. I sincerely appreciate. Well, my name is uh, Isif David Dredger, the Yoswawe of Ibema Kingdom. I am a priest, a former general chairman of Ijo Youth Council, presently a member of the NROC, of the INC. I am a son of the soil, particularly from Ajakrama. Today is a day that uh, marking an important event. This day cannot be forgotten in the annals of our tradition. This is the first time by the history of all the traditional rulers we have had in the past that the Bema people unanimously come together to install a king. And the present king is from the Budubudu ruling house. If I did give a joy for the first time for government to come and present staff of office. So for us, it means well for us. And I am glad that I'm alive to see this day. That this kingdom has thus come this far, specially ordained by God. Four important things are to be mentioned. The day of his election, the signs of the deity is the rain and the eagle. The day was selected, the rain fell. And during the process of the traditional installations, the eagles were flying around the area. And today you could see the weather at Obudubudu was a very quiet weather. The sun was not as much as that. It was a peaceful weather. For us, Egbema people, we have joy. We have suffered this for the past 30 something years for his predecessors because of rancor. But this time, there is no rancor. We've all agreed unanimously. No other ruling house was contending with the ruling house. And at the end of the day, of all those who wanted to be, he became. Because the Gazette qualifies him being his mother as non Igbemo mother. So it is joy. I know with this, the future of Igbemo is very bright. The genomes has been broken. The yokes have been broken. The elders have been scattered away. This time around, it is going to be a glorious reign in his time. You know, when God is in the boat with you, he cleared the way for you. He sent a path to you. He directs your course. He ordered your steps. He goes with you. Come, blade, come, son. He guides you. He protects you. So this is a man that is chosen by God to be king for us this time. So we are grateful and we give God the glory. And those of you who are from the media who have been covering these events right from the installation to this day, 
uh, God will take you far. And uh, in everything, we give God the glory. Without God, even if you have given any help, you can't give any help. Without God touching your heart to help. So to, the, to God be the glory. To God be the glory for everything. So we say, long live the John Nation. Long live Ibema. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We are a blessed people that we are both Edo State and Delta State. So we are very blessed people. Thank God. God bless you. And for us, our advice to the youths. They say that the youths are the leaders of tomorrow. But if you don't prepare yourself, you can't be a leader tomorrow. It is when you equip yourself this time, it is then you prepare to be a leader. I am advising every youth. The definition of you, the one who can shout on top of balls or broken balls, that is not youth. Youth are those excellent people who have committed their time and energy to exploit knowledge, the right knowledge, equip themselves with the right knowledge, academically and otherwise, so that they become useful assets in the future. But if you don't do that, you ignore that, you cannot be a leader tomorrow. And my advice to the chiefs, all the chiefs, every arm should be on deck. That we should give the right advice to the king. We should not be around him for selfless reasons. We should be around him to make sure the kingdom goes forward and everybody is being taken along and everybody is considered. And whatever due he or she should be given to her. And we should accord ourselves that respect as chiefs to make sure we give him the best support, we give him the best of advice, we work together as a traditional institution so that we can make a great king tomorrow. God bless you. Uh, we thank the Delta State Government for taking a prompt action to have given him the staff of office. Now that the staff of office has been given to him, we all know that every other thing accorded, accorded him as a traditional ruler will be given to him. Nobody will deny him of that. He's going to be a member of the Delta State Traditional Rulers Council. He's going to be a member because he and the Olu of Wari are the two traditional rulers from the Wari North local government area. So the government will give him the needed support has been uh, promised by the deputy governor. So everything that the government needs to do to get him to the properly position should be given to him and should be quite recorded and every alternative he needs as a king to stand out, shoulder eye, should be given to him. Yes.